Hi folks, this is Peach Mario with a short introduction of how you can install plugins with the uh, default plugin library. So we are at uh, tilliwiki.com yeah? and here we, if we search for plugins uh, we get a nice overview. Yeah? Let's focus on this tiddler and it has some basic information of, about handling plugins with single file wikis with the client server configuration using Node.js and some default information about the plugin mechanism. What we do first is installing the plugin from the plugin library. Yeah? Uh, there have been some changes in the latest documentation. So now here is a link uh, which opens exactly this tiddler. Let's give it the same zoom value, value. Um, as a, uh, as a pop-up. Yeah? And with Windows you can, if you hover this element, yeah, um, then you get uh, a nice overview where you can create side-by-side -side views. Yeah? So this is the second element. Um, with other operating systems it's also possible to create it that you have to do it manually. Uh, the nice point here is that you can read the elements or the description here uh, but click here it will open the control panel uh, in the main in the main win uh, windows. So first of all uh, create some backups that's always important then we open the control panel in the control panel uh, there is the plugins tab yeah and then we get more plugins there is the get more plugins button which gives us a modal win window uh, which uh, links to the uh, official uh, Tilwiki plugin library. Then we open plugins the plugin library and here we have it. Yeah? What else is there? There is information about updates, the plugins, uh, a search box, then you have the different themes that you can install. Uh, in this case with Tilwiki.com they are all installed already so it says reinstall and there are the different uh, languages. Huh? Not all of them have uh, all the text translated but have a look at it and uh, feedback and help is very uh, welcome. Okay, let's go back to the plugins. There are two types of plugins. Um, there is standard plugins which are, um, uh, contain uh, JavaScript elements and those plugins have to be uh, reloaded. Yeah? So the Tilwiki file has to be saved and reloaded and there are some Wikitext plugins, so Wikitext only, for example this, uh, some blogging tools, let's say install, okay, I close it, there is it and uh, as we can see it only contains some templates and some uh, elements which are Wikitext only, so no uh, reinstallation is needed, they work out of the box after installing them. Yeah. Then there are the other ones, so get more plugins. I just use any plugin, so the first one here. Uh, this is some uh, helper library for programmers. When I install it, you can directly see there is this yellow information box which says you have to save and to reload uh, the tab, the wiki, so that this uh, plugin can be activated. Here it is and if we open it there is some content and there you can see it contains async.js uh, file so that's why it needs reloading. Yeah, that's basically it um, in including and loading plugins from the default library. Yeah? If you are in the control panel open the plugins tab, get more plugins and search for your plugin that you need and install it. Save and reload and you are done. That's it. In the next video we will have a closer look uh, how to uninstall plugins. Have fun!